And before we get to that forecast, Spartanburg District 1, Spartanburg District 5, and District 6 all dismissing early today. We are updating that at the bottom of the screen. The specifics there uh, will be uh, scrolling there, so keep that in mind. Again, Spartanburg Districts 1, 5, and 6 closing early in anticipation of this winter weather moving in. Light to moderate rain mixing with a little bit of sleet in most of the upstate. No major issues so far. In the mountains, we have seen a Michelle earlier report some flurry on I-26 near Hendersonville, but it's really in neighboring Transylvania County near Rosman, stretching back through parts of Jackson, Macon, and now Rabin counties in northeast Georgia, as well as the far northern edges of Greenville, Pickens, and Oconee counties, all dealing with, again, some wintry mix and or some snow. In fact, Sky Valley, elevation of over 3,000 feet in Rabin County, reporting a pretty good amount of snow so far. Looking at the rest of the update, it's all rain right on schedule. We are not supposed to be seeing any snow just yet. We're still several hours away, but some of these heavier downpours in North Georgia start to work their way in. You could briefly see a little bit of snow or sleet mix in, but it's not going to be enough to help change that over until later on in the day when this band of really, really heavy precipitation across northern Alabama and Mississippi works its way in. So several hours away from that transition over to snow. Again, next hour at 11 o'clock, it's all basically snow in the mountains and nothing for the upstate. We stay that way through noon by two o'clock. That's when we'll start to see the, the leading edges of some of that snowfall work its way into the northern upstate. But I think it's going to be closer to four o'clock before we start to see that changeover happen in the Greenville and Spartanburg and Gaffney areas. This also could briefly uh, snow in Clemson as well as uh, maybe close to Anderson down toward Lawrence as well. This would be 6 p.m. And then it's all out of here shortly after sunset. We're left with some flurries by this evening at 9 o'clock and by 11 o'clock. Most precepts should be done as the sky begins to clear. Again, no change to our accumulation map. One to three inches for the far, far northern upstate, including Gaffney. And then for the greater Greenville and Spartanburg areas, we still expect at least a dusting, though a few spots could get upwards of two inches, especially where the really heavy snow does set up. And again, for Anderson, Lawrence and Greenwood, while we may see a burst of snow at the end of the day, I still don't think it's going to be enough to cause any sort of accumulation. Again, winter weather advisories, most likely snow accumulation areas will be where the winter weather advisory is currently in effect. And then our transition turns to ice in the morning. As we get all of this out of here, temperatures drop to near freezing or below. We will be looking at some icy road concerns. Good news is that we're all sunny all weekend. Next chance of rain is Monday of next week.